Welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their content journey thus far. Tia is a variety streamer who's been on Titch for 10 years now with a love for indie games, movies, food, singing, cannabis, and being unhinged. She makes indie game reviews, does cooking streams, reacts to food videos, and also voice acts. But mostly she's here to make people laugh. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, Tia. Tia, welcome <laughs> to the stream. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I I am like for some reason super excited. I don't really have any particular event or you know what? That's a lie. Tomorrow is my anniversary. <gasps> nice anyways i guess that might that might be why i'm so excited nice. we're gonna go do dinner tomorrow awesome so that's fun congrats yeah but what have you been up to <sighs> so what haven't i been up to no <laughs> <laughs> been streaming inconsistently as usual <laughs> <laughs> and uh i'm trying to make more uh edited content i guess okay and short form stuff gotcha oh and i've been voice acting that's a new thing. Yeah, I definitely I have questions about that. But before I get there, let's do this. How did you, I guess, what's your origin story when it comes to creation? How did you get started? I feel like I've been a content creator since I was like a kid. I used to make YouTube videos when I was in middle school, like 12. Uh, I, saw, I taught myself how to video edit <laughs> and I would make fan videos of like Disney stuff. <laughs> I was part of a whole community and stuff and that's wild and you were 12 yeah I did that through like middle school and part of high school okay and I also streamed on Justin TV um wow back in the day before it became Twitch right yeah so uh, and then once I turned 18 I made a Twitch account <laughs> <laughs> nice and you're like so all right I, we're official now so I've been streaming for like almost 11 years oh wow I, I did not know that i'm all constantly learning new yeah. things about people on this podcast that's awesome too too damn long <laughs> <laughs> so you started uh with streaming or i guess you didn't start with streaming. you started with like fan videos for YouTube. yeah yeah and then went to streaming and now your you, your plate has opened up to voice acting Mm -hmm. <laughs> how has have you so give me some details like have you finished the job yet or is it still ongoing i'm in the middle of like three four jobs right now <laughs> they're just okay. small indie projects i just needed to get started doing something it's fun right and also just connecting with other beginner voice actors and people in the same place it's yeah. really cool i've been saying for multiple years that i really i want to get into voice acting but that's where it stops because i stop i don't like do any research and see figure out <laughs> what i need to do like have you taken any classes uh no that's one of my goals over the next couple months cost money and a little yeah. tight on that but <laughs> right. i'm working on it i just practicing with like auditions and and just reading stuff out loud like reading books out loud and doing mm -hmm. voices and yeah so how did you land these three gigs as you currently have i go to the site called casting call club mm -hmm. a lot of people use it in the beginning of their voice acting careers there's yeah. paid and unpaid projects they they come in like all sizes like small indie projects and there's bigger like video games on there too sometimes okay it's it's nice it's fun you said it's called casting call casting call club gotcha yeah i'm definitely gonna do some research after to get off of this it's free to use but yeah yes. there's a lot I'm of like, websites out there but free you got me with free that's perfect that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> i did an audition for i you probably heard of it, the ACX, the Amazon something, oh, yeah. whatever the hell X stands for, but basically audiobooks. I had, I went through the process of signing up for the site. I made a demo reel. I like to give you a few samples to read. So I did that. And then I got an offer from somebody. Let's just say mm -hmm. at the point, I didn't know who it was. I was like, oh, you got an offer. I was like, hell yeah, let's do this shit. <laughs> so I opened it up 
it was a textbook about dinosaurs like oh. scientific like not fun like haha this is a t-rex he's oh. dna it wasn't that it was like scientific words and stuff and i just looked at it and i was like you know what i'm not doing this i i <laughs> did not feel confident like there was words in there that i didn't even know existed so yeah i i dabbled in acx a couple months ago and i was like do i really want to read a whole book <laughs> right <laughs> and then you have to edit it all yourself yeah like, and it's a lot of work that's the other thing i didn't realize you had to edit it yourself i'm sure i could like go to fiverr and have somebody do it but again that costs money right and i'm trying to make money so yeah, yeah and you don't make much <laughs> yeah that's the other thing like if it's not like a popular book like i guess there's different ways they pay out but it's, most mm -hmm. of them are you get paid on how many uh copies of books are sold so right i'm not trying to help i mean i guess if you were like this book's amazing i'm gonna help advertise because i'm also <laughs> gonna get paid i didn't really think that went through but voice acting is definitely something in my future that i want to do because four thousand people a day tell me i should probably do something with my voice other than talking to a mic on stream and i was like all right uh, here's a podcast <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah you should try it out it's a little like you gotta know how to act i mean that's really what yeah. it is it's acting but mm -hmm. if you enjoy it you'll be fine you gotta practice yeah practice was practice mm -hmm. and get coaching eventually <laughs> true i did i at the beginning like when i was like well what uh, everybody was freaking out over covid i took voice acting lessons but the problem with that they were at home and like nobody was leaving so everybody was in the house and so I'm sitting in my room. I can't, I'm not even about to recreate the noises they had me make because they were just, <laughs> they were too like, I had, I don't know, actually, maybe he was just fucking with me and he's like, make this noise. <laughs> but it was part of the practice. And I come out and my kids are just looking at me like, are you okay? And I'm like, huh? Like, yeah, you sound like a well in there. And I'm like, <laughs> so we're never doing this again. This oh, no. No more voice acting in the bedroom. That's weird. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh well i tried but it was it was beneficial to i i can hit notes that i didn't think i could hit and like i understand a few things about my voice that i did learn through those couple of lessons i did so it was beneficial but That's again good. that should cost money right <laughs> <laughs> all right well with that i think i i've grilled you enough about voice acting i'm definitely don't think <laughs> this is over because you're you're now the person that i know who's voice acting so oh, great <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding um a little bit i've done so much research so i probably have an answer <laughs> true i've I've checked your discord like the section of your discord that's where i've gotten most of my uh info from so i appreciate that thank you for that resource mm -hmm. okay so going into uh current mindset this is where i like to ask my guests what their current mindset is in regards to their content right now how are you feeling in regards to like putting in work and getting up stream and all that fun stuff where is your mind sitting oh what is my mindset i feel like <laughs> Well, I took a long break um, because I was working full time. Mm -hmm. So it feels like I'm starting over the past few months and I'm just trying to change my whole approach to like streaming and content creation. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just not relying on streaming anymore. Like streaming is for fun. It's like a reward, like right. to just hang with my community. And I'm just focusing on making edited content for like TikTok. And it's really just TikTok is my focus. Like in short clips and also like leaning more into food and cooking because that's my true love <laughs> gotcha so we're gonna see more food related tiktoks yeah i made a whole separate account for it <laughs> that is awesome so I, yeah i feel like and I, I think i've said this on this cast before but a lot of people that i interact with in this content creation landscape have been doing exactly what you're doing like looking at their content and reevaluating and making changes and i think mm -hmm. that making the changes part is the scariest part because it does yeah. feel like you're starting over but it's very necessary sometimes yeah and i've been making more indie game reviews and i've been really loving mm -hmm. that and i'm gonna keep doing that hopefully consistently <laughs> yes yes we're 2023 through 2024 consistency is the uh mantra <laughs> yeah. we're chasing after 
I'll be checking in everybody who did this show. I'm like, hey, did you make some shit today? <laughs> yeah. Just try not to burn out though. Because yes, that is true. I was I was burnt out for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to realize when you're burnt out when you're like in it. Right. I mean, at least for me, I'm just like, ah, I'm just tired. I'm just gonna keep pushing. And then one day I'm just like, yo, fuck all of this. I don't care about stream. Fuck YouTube. TikTok sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep in the ice bath all day or something. Me half the time. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So you mentioned that you're a luxurious, like you, your your content creation career goes back uh some some years. So I definitely have to ask you, do you have any any specific moments or can you think of any stories from your career that stick out that are either beneficial for you you learned something from it or they were just funny or unique to content creation itself <laughs> let me think <laughs> god i feel like my content like streaming has been pretty smooth sailing <laughs> like it's been chill mm -hmm. again i've been so inconsistent that i, I leave for months <laughs> and then come back but right. i mean i've had a, a few trolls and stuff and I've been on the internet so long that they don't even phase me. Right. <laughs> the weirdest moment probably of streaming was during the pandemic and during like all the protests and stuff. Right. Like I got such a big push of like follows and like attention right. <laughs> during that time. And it felt really weird. I'm like, this, I don't know what this has to do with me. Uh -huh. And like, it's like, and I've been here for years at that point still. I'm like, it just felt weird. It was, that was strange. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people felt that. And a lot a lot of people try I don't want to say capitalize on that, but some people took off because of that that period. But yeah, yeah it definitely was weird. I was like, hmm, why are you really here? <laughs> <laughs> I was super like trying to be an activist at that time too. And yeah. Eventually I I just was like like I still care about it, but of course. I guess I just keep more quiet about mm -hmm. some things. <laughs> Yeah, it, there's a lot of stuff uh, <laughs> to be activists about out there right now. And sometimes just relaxing and, and observing and, and making moves in the back end is the smart move to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here to have a fun, silly time. I don't. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me be your distraction. <laughs> yes. No, I 100% agree with that. I, I'm in the middle of revamping not only what I'm streaming, but like the days I stream on, because again, I think for me has been, I don't want to say wasted time, but all of those hours that I could have been using to make long term, like long form YouTube videos, mm -hmm. it's starting to feel like a waste. So I'm starting to transition like you into more TikToks. I'm spinning up another YouTube channel just dedicated only to Apex Legends because I can't stop playing that game. And I was like, I need to start <laughs> making content. For this. But like a lot of stuff that again, like in the past was scary because I'm like, oh, I'm starting over. But right. I've seen so many people do the exact same thing and been totally fine. So I'm like, I'm good. Right. Just do it. Yeah. Just gotta, my mindset is just fuck it. Like, yes, just do stuff. I try to make content that like I would watch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it sounds yes. selfish but like i'm like i want it to make me laugh at the end of the day i mean honestly that is one of <laughs> like again that's another pillar of my reason i do this is because i want to see shit that i like because there's not right. not that there's not a lot of it but like there's specific things that i enjoy and if other people enjoy it hell yeah exactly but if not i'm still gonna make that shit <laughs> right with that i think this is a perfect segue into words of advice if someone I'm like, this is me, for example. I've been doing this for a while and I was like, not about to quit, but I've been just questioning things that I've been doing. What type of advice would you give someone like myself? Don't be afraid to like start over and over and over <laughs> and like experiment and like mm -hmm. you don't have to stick to one thing. And I don't know, just make the focus to you as a person, like whoever you are, really. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. And so people will follow you just for you and but you just gotta be consistent with like who you are and what your interest and morals are mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense yeah is that is that good <laughs> no i like that that's perfect like someone maybe also sorry <laughs> no go ahead learn new skills like that's yeah. what i've been doing and maybe brush up on old ones and 
like you're in charge of your own content there's really no rules <laughs> yeah you don't have to I, copy anyone exactly i think once you realize that like there's really like there, I mean, there might be blueprints out there that people follow but honestly you could do whatever you want and if it pops it pops you gotta be right. in that shit though. you just gotta do it make yeah. the stuff make the stuff <laughs> 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 that is awesome yo tia i appreciate i appreciate you being on the podcast with me where can the people find your content on twitch um twitch.tv slash tia games that's mo that's where i stream randomly uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm struggling with the schedule but mm -hmm. i'll get there one day <laughs> right and what's uh tiktok uh also tia Wea games Awesome. When is it? Do you have an ETA when your food TikTok is going to be ready for consumption? Soon. <laughs> Next week or two. That works. Yeah. Cool. Well, with that, I guess I should probably shout my own podcast out. Uh, if you are <laughs> listening and you're a creator, or even if you're not a creator and you know some creators who could benefit from conversations like these and more, please share the podcast with them. Let them know that it exists. Upload it unfiltered. It's everywhere that you would listen to podcast at and if you're already a subscribe to it go ahead and leave me a review other than that again tia thank you for doing the show i cannot wait <laughs> to see what your food content looks like because oh uh, gosh yeah it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a little chaotic that's, that's all what i, I thought that's what i thought uh -huh. i was like it's gonna be hilarious uh, <laughs> other than that thank you all for listening i will talk to y'all later Remember, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.